the best I'm blessed to know that lust is a test I used to be the victim now I'm just envisioning I'm knowing this is I'm Susie Landolfi and welcome to Be Crazy Well Okay so here I am let me show you where I am Oh my god I love the shoes <laughs> bad they're men's I'm on the streets of New York, Harlem, actually. Um, and I'm so excited to be here. I'm giving a speech uh, Friday to a bunch of wonderful veteran student veterans, I should say, or veteran students from Columbia and Cornell and all of that. And I got to get one of these hats. Hang on one second. Oh my God, I love your hat. I love you. Wait a minute, I love your hair. Oh, you like I'm gonna buy that hair. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm um. <laughs> Where go? Uh, All right, I'm gonna come back because I'm okay. gonna show my grandson. Okay. So that one's gonna be mine or that one because I'm all about the gray. Right. All right, I'm coming back. I'm okay, staying right at the Renaissance. Okay. What's your name? Oh, Karen with a C. Karen with a C. Me for the me. Yeah, me. <laughs> no, you with the most fabulous jacket. Thank you. Yeah, you right? Yeah, but look. Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. So I'm doing a podcast right now. Oh, and yeah. Oh, my God. Look like at it. Um, my name, oh, the name of the podcast is Be Crazy Well. Oh, oh crazy. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a semi famous. Okay. okay. Very famous. I'm all, definitely old if I'm not <laughs> no. So I'm just gonna let everybody see. Oh my God, I have four dogs. So I just want you to know. He knows. He knows. Bless you, and then I will be back. I'm just gonna. Yes. Yes. See why I love being here. Oh my God. So here's where I'm going tonight. Hello. Everybody smiles. What's going on here? So here I am at the Apollo Theater, and I'm gonna go up and buy tickets tonight for it's amateur night. And so most of you know, grew up, I grew up in a mixed race family and it was a musical family. And so uh, to come here and to be able to go to the Apollo is actually pretty emotional for me uh, because it brings me back to my dad and uh, all of the wonderful musicians in my family. So I'm very excited that I'm gonna go buy tickets to amateur night tonight and you're coming with me. So I don't think I'll be able to videotape it there. They probably won't allow that. But at least come with me while I buy my ticket. Hang on. All right, I gotta take my credit card out. All right. So yeah, so I'm here in New York. I'm gonna give a speech um, for veteran students and I'm really excited. And I'm a uh, keynote, I, I don't know exactly what that means uh, because it's not going to change what I said. Um, you know, for me, keynote would mean it's like you should you should give some keys to things. You should be like, I don't know, having something to say based on experience and um, your wisdom and all of that. So I'm going to do that, and I probably will say some things that are a little disruptive because you know me in this whole mental health thing. And I'm um, on a panel as well for the bunch of wonderful men and women who uh, work in the veteran's face. So that's very exciting. So now here we go. We're going to go get my ticket to the Apollo tonight. Are you all done, sir? No. No. No, go ahead. If you need to. No. Okay. There's two okay. of you. Okay, I won't. I won't. I'm going to do it from here. How's that? Because I'm actually doing a podcast. So. All right. You're not recorded. Maybe he wants to be recorded. <laughs> Can I go ask her? Hang on. I'm doing a podcast. Can I record this? I'm so excited to be here. I can't even tell you. Wait, wait, what are you reading? What are you reading? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. So it's okay if I do this? So <laughs> I'm going to buy one ticket tonight. Um, this has like been one of my dreams for almost 50 years to be here. What show do you want? All right. Uh, say what? What show are you looking for? I don't know. Is it the amateur night oh, tonight? Amateur night is tonight, yeah. Yeah, that's me. I would love to buy a ticket. Where you want to sit or no? Do I want what? Do you know where you want to sit? Uh, someplace good. <laughs> I don't know. So you'll have to help me. Where should I sit? I'm not sure where I should sit. 
Somewhere I could see him short. <laughs> All right. Look at that. She's got me. This is so awesome. So I'm actually a therapist, and I do a, a wonderful podcast called Be Crazy Well. And I'm just recording it now because, <laughs> because why not? What's your name? Uh, uh, wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much. See, this has been like so wonderful already. It's <laughs> so great. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. 818. Oh, this is going to be great. Everybody's going to hear my phone number, but you know, I don't care because you guys can call me anytime. 818 470 2013. Girl. Call me. Text me though first. Make sure you text me if you want to talk. What's the last two digits? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Two seven one three. So it's eight one eight four. Wait a minute. Eight one eight. Eight one eight. Right. Four seven zero. Yeah. Four seven zero, zero two zero one three. One three. Yeah. Two zero one three. God, that's like a senior moment there for a minute. <laughs> the trouble is my uh, other numbers in my life are similar to this, so I can oftentimes confuse them. So yeah. So here we are. Take a look. Here I am. Pretty wonderful. Okay, I got two tickets to Love Florida Show, Rose D. Okay. It total was $20. Uh, that's it? $20? Yep. Did you guys hear that? $20. I just saw the ticket come up. Is that right? Yep. Oh my God. That's crazy wonderful. Thank you, Jane. No I appreciate you. Have a nice day. Yeah, bye. Say goodbye to Jane, everybody. <laughs> oh my God. So now I've got my ticket. Uh, hang on. I got our, our credit card. Wrap. All right. I got to put my credit card back. All right. Good. All right. So here we are. Oh my God. There's some beautiful artwork. I'm going to show you this. Great artwork. Get that. Oh my gosh. This is so wonderful. Wonderful artwork. So I wanted just to say that um I'm so I don't even know how to word it. I'm so happy to be here. My brother lived here for years and uh, he's since passed. So there's that. You got it, girl. Um, <laughs> And people are singing on the street. And then my uh, my daughter worked here and lived here for a while because I opened the first condom store in the United States. Most of you know that. And so it's bringing back all kinds of memories. And I want to show you. I'm now going to go shopping because look at this. Look at this. Okay, that's the greatest thing ever because I'm a knitter. Look at that. That is fabulous you have fabulous fabulous stuff fabulous i'm like oh my god i'm so excited with this so i may have to come back for that because as a knitter man that just makes perfect sense to me all right someone just walked by with i think a piece of pizza i need to say something to people about new york pizza i don't care what you say chicago new york is it and I'll unrest you for it. And I'm telling you right now, pizza, New York. And I can't even say Boston is better. It is definitely, definitely New York. So I wanted to share with you guys about um, how we travel and how we take care of ourselves when we travel. And for veterans, especially veterans that have deployed or PCS or all the travel that you guys do, um, I would assume that there would be times that you would, hang on, we got a big car going, truck going by. I would imagine that, that there would be times that um, you would rather not travel and times that you wanted to stand still, sit still. And then I'm wondering, I bet there's times that you miss it. I hear a lot from veterans about that. And for us civilians, um, probably could be true too. Uh, anybody that had a job that made them travel a lot. Um, I used to perform a lot. I did a, a, a safer sex presentation and uh, I traveled a lot. Hi. <laughs> Hi. They know, don't they? 
They know. They know. They know. They know. They know who's good. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so I was uh, sort of thinking about all the travel I did. I traveled maybe two hundred days out of the year. I got pretty cranky after a while, and all I wanted to do is stay home. And then I stayed home a lot, and then I missed traveling. And I was thinking about that. I was thinking about standing still, traveling, uh, going new places, seeing new people, seeing people that are, you know, not in your neighborhood. Um, and to me, that is how we get to be better humans and better, well, residents of this planet. It's the idea that we share. We're all in this together. And we deserve to know and to be able to travel and to be with others. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty happy to be here. Um, I've never spent a lot of time in Harlem, uh, even though he did grow up with a mixed race family. So uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to be here. So travel is one of the things. Um, talking to people on the plane, being able to be kind and patient and making sure that I'm not the only one that's traveling. That was really important to me about how I manage myself when I travel. I also know that sometimes I'm a little anxious about traveling because I don't know what's going to happen all the time because of that sound, um, because There we go. <laughs> so I don't, I don't always know um, where I'm going. So I'm more vulnerable. So let's talk about that for a minute. When we are so vulnerable, what are we like when we're vulnerable? Are we more aggressive? I know sometimes I am, or I feel it. Are we more introverted? shyer, um, sort of feeling unsafe and therefore more, I don't know, worried. I would just say anxious and worried. I mean, I think that can happen as well. And I'm just thinking that when we do travel and when we are vulnerable and we may not know where we're going, that can also be meaning, I don't know, when we're don't know where we're going emotionally. Don't know where we're going mentally. And what are the things that we can do to make it easier? So here's what I'm doing right now. You can watch me and I'll talk while I'm doing it. I'm watching, I'm walking slowly. I'm watching where I am. I'm observant, yet I don't feel like I'm hyper. I don't feel like I'm hyper aware. I'm also keeping track of where I'm going and how many turns I made and where the food is and what it is I need um, and whether or not I'm actually clear about this. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Yes, you yes, work at the hotel. Yes, Are you I off duty? Work. Yes. All right. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. All right. So I'm on the streets of New York. I just met that kid at the a hotel yeah. and... I just noticed him walking the streets. Oh my God. Yeah, you don't well be able to find or see anybody you know in New York. I just did. I just did. Oh my God, that's the best moment ever. Um, and you know, here's something I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do those stores. I can do those stores anywhere, anytime. I'm going to do these stores. Like, who sells clocks anymore? How wonderful is that? Like, who does that? I'm going to go to all the little stores and I'm going to shop all those little shops on the sidewalk. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do soon. What else do I do when I travel? Um, I make sure that I'm local. I'm going to try to act like I'm local here. And I'm just a local New Yorker. This is what I do. And I'm pleased with that. And everything's good. And I'm going to shop all those 
at all those little stores that are owned by local people. I'm going to do that. So that's my, that's my, my joy is to connect with people here uh, on these streets, um, on a street that I probably would not be able to live here. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Uh, I think I'm more of a country girl. So it'll be interesting for me to, to do this um, differently, right? So I'm gonna run across the street. Julie Bost. And I'm gonna go find out where that music's coming from. Is it coming with me? Okay. Not going in there, right? I'm not going to get any of the franchise stores. I'm only gonna go uh, in local shops, places I could not find any place else at. All right, so here's the music. <laughs> Oh, in New York, am I right? How do I look? I danced pretty good, didn't I? Said I danced good. So here we go. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening right now, but there is more community here on the streets of Harlem than I've experienced in a very, very, very long time. Very long time. Okay, so here's another place we can go shopping. I definitely could use some, definitely use some uh, incense for sure. This is fabulous. So wonderful. All element fire and all chakras. You know, there's something about holding a stone in your hand that really works. Um, we now know that when you fidget, when you actually make your hands go like this and you fidget with something, it can actually calm you down. I always say to parents, stop telling um, kids to sit still and look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't do that. Let them fidget. Let them doodle. Don't let them look on their phone. That's different. But they could definitely, definitely um, fidget and play with something, doodle while you're talking to them. We now know that that helps the brain. So that's pretty good. Okay, I have to be careful because I'm coming up on purses right now. Okay. Yeah, I have to be careful. Um, you know, it's interesting to come back here and see that um, there's no yellow cabs. It's like so few yellow cabs that like Uber's taken over. <laughs> Look at that. Everybody's friendly. <laughs> Fabulous shoes. I may have to go in there. I may have to go in there. <laughs> All right. I want to show you the Apollo Theater from across the street. So there it is. The very famed Apollo Theater. We've got most of our most amazing African American artists um, and music. I don't know where we would be in the entertainment world and the music world if it wasn't for that theater. Uh, just amazing. All right, so uh, I'm about done with my walk. I didn't want to go long. Um, look, two for five dollars, ninety nine cents. This is my kind of store. Love that hat. All right, so this is great. You know, I'm coming back with something that says Harlem. Oh, Christmas decorations. It's not too early. I'm sorry. I'm just one of those people. It's not too early. So I didn't want to do this for long. I just wanted to check in and let you know how much uh, I appreciate you all. And I wanted to take you on this wonderful journey with me. I'm going to speak to Harlan and how much I appreciate being here. Uh-oh. May have to get one of those too. Okay. That's it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. All right, everybody. Have a, a great rest of your day. Oh, remember, check out that we have a video channel.
perspective. Like we're starting, I think it's it's in January we're starting. Uh, Coming Home Well is going to have its own radio station, its own radio channel. Uh, and we'll be programming uh, during the week and on the weekends. And we're so excited about that. And we're so excited to, to have you join us so much easier. And I'm just going to say goodbye. But I'm just going to hang out here. Just going to hang out here with everybody and be here, be here in this wonderful part of New York City. Bless you all. And remember, be crazy well. This was so wonderful. It's so great. I'll try to do another one of these while I'm here. Maybe I can uh, do one with a bunch of the student veterans that put this whole thing together um, and share that with you as well. All right. Be crazy well. Love you guys. And remember, be your best self. Check out Calvin Love. He did our theme song. And he's an amazing young artist and young man. Love his music. Peace out.